Hi guys, I'm Shelley and welcome to day three of Booktubeathon. Not so woohoo. <laughs> As you can probably tell by the croaky voice and the ugh-ness, um, things aren't quite going to plan. And the fact that I didn't put a video up yesterday, um, I was kind of half planning to. I was just kind of looking around the house trying to find three things that are on the covers of books. And then my body just decided that it didn't want to work so much anymore and um, I started getting a bit of pain and I got really, really tired and so I just thought, oh, it's okay, I'll just give up on day two and concentrate on day three. But then it got worse and I've actually been um, up all night suffering from quite a lot of pain and a blood sugar level that just refuses to be controlled it keeps dipping quite low and so keeping it kind of steady enough to stay human and stay talking and stuff has been really difficult and so um yeah i don't think i'm gonna get uh challenge three done today either which is to uh redesign a book cover i'm really annoyed about that because i was really looking forward to it I'm hoping I can do it anyway completely like separate from Booktubeathon so whether it comes up later this week or whether I do it in a couple of weeks time because I was really looking forward to it and I had this kind of cool idea in my head and I want to draw it anyway and yeah so hopefully that will come up at some point but um one kind of good thing that comes out of being awake all night is that you get through a few more books than you plan to I finished reading Lola and The Boy Next Door, which, oh, just Stephanie Perkins, you've done it again. This is um, wonderful. I love this even more than Anna with the French Kiss because um, I just took to Lola more than I took to Anna. Lola has a um, kind of thing where she dresses up, not in costume every day, but she just kind of, she expresses who she is through what she's wearing and um, one day she decides to dress as a strawberry. So she is um, dressed in this kind of 1950s swing red polka dot dress with green um, combat boots on. I'm just like, I want to be Lola. It made me really want to go um, vintage clothes shopping and just buy wigs and pretty things and I love combat boots. So yeah, um, it's, it's such a beautiful book about a coming of age kind of first love and finding out who you are. And Stephanie Perkins writes that so, so well. It's just it's so beautiful. And I now really want to go to San Francisco. Loved it. So I finished that last night. Then uh, my brain kind of started zoning out. And um, I couldn't read anymore. My eyesight was blurry. And I shake when I'm in pain quite a lot. So that makes it difficult to read. So I decided to switch to the audiobook version of Bridget Jones's diary. It turns out that I have read it before because um, there were scenes in there that aren't in the movie that I recognised. Yes, it is about a uh, um, kind of, I think it's early 30s, neuro or late 20s, early 30s, neurotics, fag smoking, too much drinking, dieting, cosmopolitan reading um, woman. And so you have all the stereotypical bits of that, but it's kind of, it makes a joke at uh, that stereotype and a little bit. And I, j I don't think I'm using the right words, but I just, I loved it so much. It's really, really funny. It made me laugh out loud. And the characters are so more, much more rounded. Her mum is really, really funny. Um, and I just fell in love with this book again. And if you even slightly like the movie, I just read the book. It's just, it's so, so good. Um, and I then went on to watch the movie. Um, so that is one of the challenges done. Read and watch a book to movie adaptation. Woohoo! I did really quickly want to say, did you guys see um, Ariel Pissette's video on um, her entries for the giveaway that she did? Because um, she was so overwhelmed and so just grateful for all the giveaway um, entries she got and she was crying and I just wanted to go give her this massive hug and I just I just want to go say thank you. I do want to say thank you to Ariel because she's just brought this community back together over the last couple of months that there's been like talk and discussions about how there's been some kind of divide in the booktube community and this the booktubeathon just seems to have brought everybody back together again and we're just obsessing over the books we're reading and everything and it's just 
it's so wonderful to be part of this community. I'm talking to people I've never talked to before and I'm watching people's videos that I wouldn't have come across before and I'm just so, so grateful to be part of this community. And it's just a big kind of booktubeathon love fest at the moment and I just, I'm, I love it. So yeah, <laughs> that was me rambling. I'm gonna shut up now. I just, I haven't slept. I've been up, I've had about three hours sleep and yeah. Blah. But yeah, hopefully I'm going to read some more today and I might try and um, do a challenge. And if not, I will probably just see you tomorrow telling you about how I've read or in a couple of days, depending on how I feel. But um, I hope you guys are good. I hope your reading is going to plan and that I love watching your videos and I can't wait to see more of them. And um, I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Bye.